new guitar day personally i i just need one guitar yeah right. for you guys i need to review guitar for you guys and tell you what it's like so you uh you are more informed when you go to buy rather than just going to a store and then uh, grabbing a guitar you know i can talk to the guys there and do a review but um i think the best review you can get is from someone who has actually owned the guitar played it for a while so i meant every word on the title of this video um when i tell you how much this guitar is going for <laughs> you're going to be shocked so make sure you put on your, your shock absorbers okay at the end of the video i'm going to tell you how much this costs and you're going to be like <laughs> all right so <laughs> let's take a look at the guitar um listen to it and come back and um talk about it So this would not be your typical uh, guitar review uh, video uh, like the ones I've done in the past, uh, but to hopefully uh, give you guys some tips on your next purchase. Okay? If you're a beginner, of course, you need to um, talk to someone who knows about guitars, you know, get you an easy playing guitar, you know, affordable if, if your budget is not high enough to get a high end one. Uh, yes, uh, but like I said, this video is to hopefully give you some tips. should think a little bit outside the box um, with regards to brands when you're buying guitars okay if possible go to a shop and then um, have your eyes closed and have someone play the guitar for you to hear okay so uh, a few days later after e editing the video i noticed that my my pants were uh, dusty <laughs> i can't believe i didn't see that before recording so you know i was just dusting up the studio and uh, somehow forgot to you know but I've got so much content coming up, uh, I can't go back because of some dusty pants, right? The, the guy who helps me record the video is really far. So um, I've got, you know, recording with this Canadian artist and, you know, if I don't post this video today, man, I don't know when I can, you know, re-edit it and post it. Someone might really be in need of the info in this video. Uh, someone is just about to pull the trigger to buy a guitar that wouldn't work for them. So, um, sorry for the dusty pants.
sometimes we 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 have some preconceptions that if it if it's this brand it's it's better than the other okay and there's nothing wrong with chinese guitars okay uh some of the the, the best guitar companies um uh, come from china actually and then companies like bourgeois are actually collaborating with um eastman which is in china so there's a lot a lot of good stuff you can get in china you just have to search it's not like they were made by jet Li or jackie chan uh, scrap that okay so the advice i want to offer here is that you take your time okay take your time don't rush into buying something uh because it's a brand you like and uh really pay close attention to, to the tone like i said you can have your eyes closed and uh have somebody play for you to listen Lord, if I... I promise you, you are not going to believe the price of this guitar, even if you try it. Okay, so <laughs> stick till the end of the video. All solid woods. This is all solid woods. Okay, and uh, it, it sounds it sounds really good. I feel like I've been missing a lot. This is my first time actually playing um, cedar, uh, cedar top with uh, rosewood back and sides. That's all solid wood. So um it's it's got some good stuff really going i i compare this to a spruce guitar i think this has more punch i'm surprised i was expecting cedar to be warmer at the same time i can hear the warmth uh, but i still get some punch and i'm still getting some volume <laughs> So this is not scalloped, it's straight brace. The top is some premium set, some premium set. Um, I mean, you can tell by the, the wideness of the grain, okay, that this is some premium um, top. So let, let's look at a few tips. Um, how, how to tell if a guitar has solid, has um, so, um, it's made of a solid top. That's pretty easy. Getting to know whether the back and side is also solid is a tricky one. Okay, so you can see that um, that looks like a solid piece of wood. I'm going to compare this to a laminate top and, uh, you know, the laminate looks a bit sandwiched. So that's pretty easy to tell. Also, if you've been playing guitar for a while, it's just easy to just hear and then, you know, you know, by ear, you can tell it's a solid top, right? So I hope you can see that it's just a solid piece of wood. Yeah, so this is the laminate. Uh, you can see that um, the coloration at the side is even different from the top um yes so that's that's pretty easy to tell it looks like it's been sandwiched uh let's take a look at another solid top yeah so this is another solid top um this is actually my alvarez ebg um oh did i say ebg <laughs> md60 ebg yes so you can see um yeah it's actually got a pickup but this you can see uh from the sound hole that this is one piece of solid wood so that's pretty easy to tell uh, let's take a look at one more laminate and then uh, talk about the backs and sides. Yeah, so this is another laminate. Um, this is actually a Vantage guitar uh, made in Korea. They make some really cool guitars. And there's nothing really wrong with laminate tops. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, yes, so um, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so that is uh, the unknown brand of the guitar uh, from the sound hole. It's actually Jin Ying. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, you can see uh, from the sound hole that um, the grains are uniform. They are about um, half an inch apart. So the back end, the, the back of the guitar should be looking just like that. Okay, you could maybe take a photo and um, look at the back and see if um, it's actually the same thing. Okay, so I can see the same thing being replicated here. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, it, it takes uh, patience. Uh, some guitars are pretty obvious to 
to notice because the grains have a, a unique pattern. This is more uniform, so you need to take your time. Uh, so don't just uh, take um, uh, specs on websites and just assume that it's um, all solid woods. So really take your time and... Uh, uh, yeah, some brands are also uh, really good at um, uh, replicating what they have inside, <laughs> even though they may be laminate back and sides. Uh, so you really want to take a keen look at the 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 pattern you are seeing inside. You know, and like I said, you you can take a photo and make sure you see the same thing being replicated at the back. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the price of this uh, guitar. Uh, what was your guess? Uh, I hope you guys commented below. Uh, so we are talking all solid woods, right? All solid woods, uh, premium cedar top with a uh, rosewood back and sides. Uh, so what was your guess? So that was how much I found this uh, for sale. I, I don't know what is going on. I mean, I think the actual price should be more. And also I tried um, looking up uh, the brand and I, I, I haven't seen anything like this they make. So this might be a one-off. You go to AliExpress, you talk to the guys there, they can actually build you um, a custom guitar at a very low cost. I mean, this is like, uh, at least the top of this guitar should be a quadruple A. You know and the, um, the back and side is also high quality so um i don't know what's happening in the with the chinese shop here in ghana i got this like maybe uh, like i found some finish issues um yes so and then I, I don't know maybe someone didn't really want to play it and then uh, brought it there to be sold uh, very cheap uh, i don't know what's happening but um the actual price of this guitar um could be approximately three hundred dollars think a bit outside the box uh, and uh, you could really get your hands on some cool guitars okay so thanks for sticking to the end of the video and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye <music>